Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this really pretty wall mirror using items that I purchased from Dollar Tree. So if you're interested, just keep watching. For this project, I used one of the round mirrors, six packs of the clear acrylic gems, two packs of the craft sticks, three of these eight count beaded necklaces. I only used the silver. I used my Rust-Oleum metallic silver spray paint, some painter's tape, my glue gun and glue sticks. I'll leave a complete list of what I used down in the description box. So the first thing I did was remove the cardboard from the back of my mirrored frame. And then I used my hot glue gun to attach craft sticks to the back of that cardboard. I added 64 of the craft sticks in total. Next, I flipped over my cardboard and used my hot glue gun to reattach the cardboard back to the mirrored frame. I then added a second layer of the craft sticks. I added hot glue to each end of the craft stick. I attached one end to the top of the frame and then the other end to the bottom layer of craft sticks. If you follow my channel, you've seen me do this technique before. I do this to expand the frame, taking my eight inch mirror to an 18 and a half inch mirror. I then flipped my design over and I added additional craft sticks to the back. The gems that I'm going to add to this mirror are relatively light, but with me using so many of them, this design will have some weight. So I'm using the craft sticks to reinforce my frame and make sure that my design is as sturdy as possible. Next, I used my painter's tape to cover my mirror, and then I took my design out to a well-ventilated area and gave it a good coat of my silver metallic spray paint. Once that dried, I brought my design back in and began 
gluing down my clear acrylic gems. I glued the gems with the flat end face down. It took me 39 gems to get around the entire mirror. I then added a second layer of the gems. As you can see, I'm adding a gem in between every other gem of my first row. I continue adding gems until I got to the very end of my craft sticks. Also, since the hot glue will cloud the clear acrylic gem, I'm only adding the hot glue around the edges of each of the gems. As you can see, by the time I got to the edges of my craft sticks, the spacing increased. So I made sure that I added my final gem to the very edge of the craft stick. I also added additional gems to fill in any spacing, especially the spacing left around the outer edge of my design. At this point, the design was really pretty, but I decided to take it up a notch by adding some of the silver garland beads as well. I used my handy dandy toothbrush to help me clear away some of the glue strands and then I added some additional beads between each row of the clear acrylic gems as well. I glued the beads down very loosely, trying to make sure that the circles were as neat as possible. This step, of course, was completely optional, but I added the beads because I thought it drew attention away from the craft sticks that you could somewhat see when you look at the mirror. This added some texture and really enhanced the overall look of my design. And because I used so much hot glue with this project, I had a lot of glue strings. So in addition to my toothbrush, I also used a warm hair dryer to help me get rid of those strings as well. I have to be very careful when I use this method because the hair dryer basically reheats the glue. So I made sure that I allowed my design to cool back down before moving it around too much to make sure that everything stayed in place. To complete the project, I removed the painter's tape from my mirror, I cleaned my mirror, and here was my finished look. I'm really happy with how this design turned out. It was super easy, very inexpensive to make, and turned out beautiful. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Remember, I upload new videos every single week. So until next time, guys, bye.